Now in my mind, I've been living in Cleveland my whole life. I've been living with my mom. It's been me and my mom. That's it. That's what's wrong with this generation today. These young boys today, what does she bring to the table? What else she need to slide up to the table with? What about your job? What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Things that should typically describe who you are, those things aren't manifesting themselves when the cameras are not rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, grab your popcorn and put on your gossip goggles because we're diving headfirst into the whirlwind romance of none other than your favorite Steve Harvey and his leading lady Marjorie Harvey. Reportedly, the drama in this very famous family has spilled over to the children, with Harvey's sons now blaming their father for letting Marjorie ruin the once happy family. Picture this, a comedy club in 1990, Memphis, Tennessee. Steve Harvey, the maestro of mirth, and Marjorie Harvey, a woman with a flair for fashion, crossed paths like ships in the night. They shared a chuckle, a connection, but the timing wasn't ripe for their love to bloom. Fate, it seems, had a better idea. Fast forward to 2005, after some life lessons and a bit of soul searching, the stars aligned. Harvey, now a bona fide talk show host, was single again and ready to seize the day. His trusty bodyguard, the unsung Cupid of their love tale, suggested rekindling the flames with Marjorie. And as you may already know, love lightning struck twice. But just who is Marjorie, and how does Harvey's other children feel about her? She's a fashionista, a fierce mama bear, and a woman who knows her own worth. She's a pro at blending families, at least what we thought all along. We're talking seven children from past lives that she welcomed into her heart like a true champion. Suddenly, these very children are now shifting the blame on her. From afar, Steve Harvey appears like a true family man. Family is my reason why, he once said about fatherhood. I work to leave a legacy and hopefully make the world a better place for them. The comedian first became a dad in 1982, when he and his then-wife, Marsha Harvey, welcomed twin girls, Brandy and Carly. The couple also had a son, Broderick Harvey Jr., in 1991 before their divorce in 1994. The talk show host welcomed another son, Winton, in 1997 with his second wife, Mary Shackelford, whom he was married to from 1996 to 2005. Two years later, Harvey wed Marjorie and adopted her three children from a previous relationship, daughters Morga and Lori and son Jason. When you're dealing with a blended family, everyone is coming from a place of brokenness, Marjorie told People in 2016, before explaining how she and her husband wanted to make sure all of their children felt included and loved. We knew this was right, she said, adding, now we're mom and dad to everybody. But it appears that feeling is not mutual, especially from Harvey's blood children with his two ex-wives. As mentioned earlier, Harvey and his first wife, Marsha, welcomed twin girls, Carly and Brandy, in August 1982. At the time, the top comic was an insurance salesman, but after trying stand-up comedy and winning a $1.50 first place prize, he decided to quit his job to pursue a life in comedy. Speaking about that life-changing decision, he recalled, I'm married, I have twins, I'm supposed to provide for them, but I had to take this chance. While he found success in the entertainment industry, it took a toll on his home life. He and Marsha divorced in 1994, and his relationship with Brandy and Carly was strained. Years later, they said to me, Dad, we didn't understand why you left us, but we know now you had to go. You didn't just belong to us. You belong to the world, Harvey shared, adding, That was emotional for me. In 2015, Carly married Ben Raymond, and her father walked her down the aisle. Prior to the wedding, Carly and Benjamin appeared on Steve's talk show, where the comedian tearfully admitted, it's difficult to give your daughter away, before turning to Benjamin to add, you have to take care of her because if you don't, I'm going to take that personally. The following June, Carly and Benjamin had their first child, a son named Benjamin Troy Raymond II. They decorated the nursery with a special token from their wedding, a blessing tree filled with messages from friends and family. I wanted to incorporate the blessing tree so he always has that encouragement. Carly revealed in 2016. They also hung up one of Harvey's favorite Albert Einstein quotes, and then he made sure that the baby has a copy of his book, Act Like a Success, Carly shared. Her twin sister Brandy is an author, podcast host, and fitness influencer who previously trained as a bodybuilder, even placing second in an NPC competition. 
She's also the founder of Beyond Her, a wellness and lifestyle brand focused on helping women reach their health goals. Additionally, Brandy is the executive director of her father's foundation, the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation. After the latest saga, it is believed that the twin girls are furious over Marjorie's treatment of their dad. But wait, there is more. Steve Harvey welcomed their son, Broderick Harvey Jr., with Marsha in April 1991 in Cleveland. Reportedly, Broderick is fuming with his dad for marrying Marjorie and letting her further dismantle their family. Following Harvey and Marsha's 1994 divorce, Broderick stayed in Ohio with his sisters and mother. Appearing on his father's talk show, Steve, in May 2019, Broderick opened up about their relationship, sharing, I didn't really have my dad full-time in my life until I was 16. In response, the comedian spoke about his own regrets, saying, I had spent my entire life trying to make up for the mistakes I made as a young man. In 2015, Broderick started a shoe company called Steps by Stevens, which helped fight hunger by donating three meals to a child in need for every pair sold. The company has been featured on Harvey's talk show. The talk show host introduced Broderick and his business partner, saying, The most important thing that I've tried to teach all of my kids is the value of hard work and giving back to others. Before adding, that's why I couldn't be prouder of my oldest son. But the big question is, is your son proud of you? No, not at all. Broderick is not alone in blaming his famous dad. The comedian's 26-year-old son, his biological last child, is said to be mad to the bones. Winton Bryselin Ali Harvey was born on July 18, 1997, to Steve Harvey and his second wife, Mary Shackelford. The couple divorced in 2005 after nine years of marriage. Speaking in 2016, Harvey opened up about the divorce, saying, I got married for the wrong reasons. I was tired of being alone. I have to own that. It was me, not her. There's no closure for me. As of today, there was never any closure at all. Since their split, Mary has made numerous allegations against her ex-husband. In 2011, she claimed on YouTube that Harvey cheated on her and took their son after their divorce. The comedian responded to the accusation, stating that he was awarded primary custody when Winton was 13 years old and their son went to live with him willingly. Today, Winton is a photographer based in Atlanta. Since marrying Marjorie, Harvey's children from his past two marriages haven't fully welcomed her, although they promised to accommodate her. The children believe Marjorie bewitched their dad. From when they met, Harvey knew Marjorie was the woman he was meant to marry. Marjorie changed the way I existed, he revealed in 2012. I'd never been in a healthy adult relationship. I'd never been loyal. I'd never been fully respected. Marjorie agreed, saying, we're best friends, it's the first time either of us has had someone we can talk to about everything. Over the course of their decades-long relationship, the couple have shared plenty of sweet moments on social media, become grandparents, and, most importantly, had each other's backs. But now it appears the kids haven't been part of that fairy tale. Although Marjorie and Harvey didn't get married until 2007, the pair met years prior when the comedian was performing at a club in Memphis, Tennessee. They discussed their first meeting during a 2018 episode of Steve's talk show, The Steve Harvey Show. Just like his children, millions of Harvey's fans believe he is a simp, an urban term used to describe a man who lets a woman control him. As for how they keep their marriage strong, Harvey shared some of the couple's secrets. I married a person who was already happy, and I'm innately happy. So we don't have to make each other happy. We can just compliment each other's happiness, he told Good Housekeeping. I don't bring up exes. I don't remember them or have any fond memories. I didn't know anything until my wife came along. Along with eating dinner together and listening, he also shared one sweet habit. When Marjorie sees me doing something I don't enjoy, she'll kiss my big bald head and say, hang in there, I'm proud of you. It gets me every time. But things haven't been so rosy between the two lovers lately. The 66-year-old has been trending this past week following allegations that his wife had allegedly cheated on him with their bodyguard and personal chef and even demanded a $200 million divorce settlement. To address the rumor, Harvey spoke on Sunday, August 27th, while attending the InvestFest Marketplace 2023 event, dismissing the allegations as gossip. Before I get started, just let me say I'm fine. Marjorie's fine. I don't know what y'all doing, but find something else to do, cause we are fine. Lord have mercy, man. I ain't got no time for rumors and gossip. God's been good to me, I'm still shining, Harvey said. The cheating allegations first started on social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, and quickly went viral. 
Additionally, Marjorie, through her social media account, further affirmed that the allegations are just hearsay. She first shared a Bible quote, feeling the need to respond to her followers. When they hurled their insults at him, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threats. Instead, he entrusted himself to him who judges justly. The 58-year-old then went ahead to caption the Bible quote with an explanation dismissing the rumors. My husband and I don't usually stop to address all the foolishness and lies that have been spread about us. However, to whom much is given, much is required. I understand that with my platform comes some sort of responsibility to those that may not be as strong as we are, Marjorie noted, but netizens are having none of it, with one tweeting, if a bodyguard can chew Marjorie, Steve Harvey's wife despite Harvey's riches and social status, then it is impossible to satisfy a woman on this earth. With another adding, she cheated on Steve Harvey with a cook and a bodyguard. Marjorie showing the world how to punish simps. She will still make a bag from him. Beautiful scenes. Do you think Harvey's relationship with Marjorie will stand the test of time? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.